Hi, is Onel available? Yes, give me one moment. Alrighty. Hi, this is Onel. Hi, Onel, it's Rebecca calling about my husband's phone, Ray Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah we're going to Okay, just making sure because he's going to go pick it up. I wanted to make sure it was ready. So that was Rebecca who was talking to the cell phone company that they literally had my phone for two weeks. Two weeks. And they've been giving us the runaround that they're going to fix it, that they're not going to fix it. They fixed it the first time. 30 minutes later, the screen shut off. It wasn't working. The phone was on, but the screen was not working. So we've been just literally back and forth with these people, back and forth, back and forth. And today we're actually going to go ahead and uh, pick up the phone. They're saying that it's fixed and ready. And I just hope it is because I've been without a phone for two weeks. You try doing that, it's impossible. All right, babe, I'm headed out. Issue, man. Real simple, man. The phone after after it falls, there could be other components that could go bad. And then it's where, working, by the way. Where these parts connect, usually they have fat FTC connectors, okay. fat ICU chips. Whenever that falls, once we take it apart, you know we risk all that. All right. Later, man. All right, bro. All right, so we got our phone fixed. It's it's actually working. That lady was just laughing at me because I'm vlogging and I got this huge freaking camera but you know what I'm sexy and I know it and I'm gonna own the camera so screw what everybody else thinks I got my phone back I'm on there we go yes wait look away dude look at this <laughs> this is awesome I have my phone back here's the thing I don't know if I gave it to them with a with a cover or not but you know it, it's been such a mission with these people I don't even want to go back in there but here's a story they were trying to charge us it was a hundred dollars to fix my screen they were trying to charge us after that two hundred dollars to fix what the hell was wrong with the with the screen that it wasn't like it was on but it wasn't turning on like the phone would be on but the screen wasn't responding we literally this is this is how you got to be smart when you when you do things like this because if it would have been any other person we would have paid the extra two hundred dollars I would have been three hundred dollars just just to repair a phone for that I get a new one but since I have $100 left to pay off the phone, I just wanted to get it fixed. Hey babe, say hi to the vlog. Huh? Say hi to the vlog. Hold on, wait. Sorry, I can hear you, but this child just ate the most massive poop of life. What? I said this child just pooped the massive poop of life. Great, you just said that in the vlog. I was trying to tell you to say oh. hi to the vlog. Hi vloggers. You gotta finally get his phone. I mean <laughs> vloggers. Finally, I hopefully they can see this. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm actually vlogging right now. I came to pick up my phone. It's been two weeks since I've had a phone. You may want to say hi to the camera for the vlog. I don't know. Most likely, this will make it to the vlog. So, just keep you guys updated. That was cool. Some of the old songs. Yes, man. because he sleeps comfortably like that for some reason but um here is this light bulb it's not working so just it doesn't turn on so we're gonna fix this so we're gonna go to targets and buy a new light bulb there we go so yeah it's pretty much done
I've been trying really hard to actually vlog in public and just you know pretend that it's just me and the camera. It's a little bit difficult, but I'm getting a little bit better at it. I feel like I'm easing into it. Still something that I need to get used to. Um, let me know if you guys like the way that it looks, like when you're just in public, like vlogging, and it looks like I just don't give a shit about anything. Because sometimes going in public and vlogging is embarrassing, but that's the only way the videos look really good. When you just vlog and you really don't care. And it looks, it's more embarrassing when you got a big camera, but again, I feel that that makes the videos look that much better. Let me know in the comments. So I didn't bring my glasses and looking for light bulbs has taken about 20 minutes. I cannot find the damn light bulbs. Oh God, this sucks. I'm fucking lost. Dear Target, why do you not have any employees working in any of these aisles? I don't know why, but I'm freaking lost and I need your help, but there's nobody here to help me. Why? Should I go back to Walmart? Maybe I should. I think I found them guys. I think I found the light bulbs. They completely changed them. They were all the way back there last time. That was like four months ago. So we're looking for this light bulb here. This is a Philips 120 volts, I believe. So the gentleman just helped me out. We're looking for 120 volts and they don't have it. I don't know what to do right now. I really don't want to go to Home Depot right now. It's like 20 minute drive and there's major traffic right now. It's rush hour. We're going to Home Depot. But first, I need to get my glasses. Reason why I'm getting my glasses is because I literally cannot see shit. And going to Home Depot looking like a moron, it's probably not the most practical thing to do. I got so many things. I don't know if you guys can see the reflection, but I got a bunch of things in my hands. All right, so we're in Home Depot. We finally made it, 20 minutes later. Let's go get this light bulb. Home Depot. I hope this really doesn't look like a promotional video because by all means, this is not a promotional video. <laughs> Got the light bulbs. Oh no. Holy crap. It just blew up. All right, so I spoke to the manager. He told me to go get a new, a new pair. I don't know what happened. They just suddenly popped. <laughs> I don't remember. I can't recall right now if I actually slammed it. Pretty sure I did. <laughs> All right, here we go. 45 volts. So when I was at Home Depot, the battery of the camera just it gave up, it was exhausted, it was drained. Um, I forgot to take my second battery so I couldn't keep on recording. So anyways, we're back here. Should be good to go. This has been the most annoying thing ever, not having light here. There we go. There we go. And voila. Finally, I hate rooms with zero light. They suck. Yo, I don't know if you guys see that, but it's fucking three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I get, I gotta tell you something right now. Just Give me a second. It's fucking cops and firefighters outside my house. Let's see if I can sneak around here. All right, I can't fucking do this. They're gonna catch me. I don't know if you guys see the lights, but there's literally fucking firefighters, cops outside of our house. They just finished banging inside our freaking house. I swear to God, our neighbor is fucking nuts. So our neighbor just called the cops oh my God, this is crazy. and the fire department 
And the fire department and the cops are not banging up. To the say that there was a leak, a or gas no. leak. It's three o'clock in the freaking morning, dude. And that guy's going crazy. It's 3 if you guys, it's three thirty four. If you guys didn't know, we we've had like this leak problem, but it's been fixed. So I mean, we've called the cop, t the cops, and the fire department twice because it was a like a legit gas leak. So this guy is like home alone, and he decides to call. Get us back, right? <laughs> to, I guess to get us back or something because when when. <laughs> when we go in the house, there's like no fucking smell, and the Dude, cops. I'm so embarrassed. I didn't even know what to tell the guy. The cops, the cops, and the and the fire department are looking at him like, "Dude, you're a fucking crack or something. Like, you need to go back to sleep." No, they seriously were looking at him like he. Had they were banging patience. on a freaking door, bro. And 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 this one right here is like freaking me out. Like, holy shit! I was about to get one of my elemental knives to stab somebody. I swear to God, I was too. I swear to God, I was about to tell you grab one of the elemental <laughs> knives. <laughs> I know this is so pointless, but Dude. I you just had to I don't know like I, I try to I try to film out the window, but I couldn't. No, I mean they're gonna think that yeah, like if, a prank and we might go to jail. If, <laughs> if <laughs> I were to stick out this, at him, babe, listen, they were looking at him like he was freaking crazy. It's three thirty in the morning. You woke up the fire department, the neighborhood fire department, for Dude, nothing. This, this guy's a fucking weirdo, bro. Like, I wish I could just go outside right now and just record him. All right, so I'm gonna put the camera away, but just so you guys know, we're not we're not lying here. Look at the look at the clock. Okay, it says three forty. What is that? I don't know if you can. What is that? I don't know if you guys see this. Babe, we're gonna have to censor that. What is? Do you see it? Yo, we got the morning blues. <laughs>